Hey guys, welcome back once again. For those of you new here, hello and welcome. My name is Evie and today we are jumping back into the alphabet zoo. We will, however, not be adding an animal this episode. This is purely going to be management and a transport ride because my zoo is starting to get large and we're not even halfway through the series yet and I think it is going to take far too long from the guests to walk from point A to point B. So I think that's all that's on for the agenda today. We are just going to take it slow, but there is a couple of little management things that I want to get done first. I need to name a baby Jaguar Eevee, which was suggested by one of you guys as well. We need to top up the Alpine Ibex. Got to put some more in there. I don't think there's any females left that are fertile. Just to cut, I think there is females left, but none that are fertile. So let's press play and let's get into it. Also, it takes like 30 seconds to load into this zoo, which is a long time. <laughs> For my zoos so I am again a little bit concerned with how it's gonna go when the time comes that this zoo is complete who have we got here okay that is one thing that I did forget in the last episode I did see it but it was at the very end and I forgot to add it in but I am expecting offspring little Evie the koala is expecting offspring in February so let's just let this ball roll let this play continually and we'll just see how we go. We should get a reminder. If not, we will have a very cute little koala. I did. No, that's what it was. I didn't actually see the notification that they bred and got pregnant. I was just watching her and I saw the little baby pop out of the pouch and I was like, excuse me? I was not expecting that. So let's get into the Alpine Ibex. I don't think I can actually put any of the Alpine Ibex that I have in my trading center in there because I think they are related. Um, okay, I was going for the Alpine Ibex and I got distracted. I'm gonna say maybe we'll try and get... That one's not too bad. Cosman's not great though. I refreshed the list. No, I don't get another one. Okay. It looks like there probably won't be any more for another 15 minutes. But let's get the one that I did just buy. I'm gonna send her to the zoo. And now I'm gonna have to double check, I reckon. I guess I better send her to quarantine. I better do the right thing. So let's check on these bad boys. The habitat. Cleanliness. I just, again, I don't fully understand this. I don't understand what's gone wrong for their cleanliness to not be good. I mean, other than that, um, I'll get the keeper to come in for that. Really? That's where you're gonna try and look at this? What are you gonna have to say about him? Hey, <laughs> that guy's a pickpocket. The doll is expecting offspring? Hell yeah. I'm gonna delete that because I hate seeing that little notification. Okay, let's go check on the situation here. Are they fighting? They are fighting. Okay, let's get rid of some ostriches. There is actually not that many blue wildebeest in here, which I might need to keep an eye on. There is, however, a lot of ostriches. One, two, one guy is on contraception. Okay, let's go this guy, this guy, this guy. That's all of them. I'm actually, I'll send them to the trade center. I will now that I've got some time and this, there's absolutely no rush in this episode. I will try and actually put them up for sale shall i okay now that i've got that let's get you off contraception and you can start breeding again and that should be fine doll is about to have offspring okay let's go check on that i should have known i fall for it every time i say quick let's go check it out no they're still asleep okay here we go one bambino two bambinos three bambinos four bambinos i really thought that was going to go to five that is crazy Okay, I've got to pause for a second. <laughs> we got Redden, Augustia, Ara Anna, Anna, maybe Anna, and Dridi. God, that's going to be so wrong. What have we got? Two boys and two girls. I think we do have two boys and two girls. Let's go to the Alpine Ibex. Who have we got in here? These two boys. Which one's the better one? I think the other one's a better one. Oh no, they're pretty much the same. Um, genetics. Okay, I'm gonna send this one to the Trade Center and we'll put them up for sale, shall we? Okay, that should be all good now. Speaking of Trade Center, let's see if there's any more Alpine Ibex. There is, Cosman's still there. Tonya, I mean, I don't really, I mean, 50 on everything's not that bad. Okay, Aswad is about to mature. <gasps> Excuse me? Not sure how she got under there. <gasps> there's the baby! Little J. <laughs> I can't handle just normal names on these. It's simply too much. Felicia is about to mate. What are your genetics like? Not too bad. And we'll just make sure that you can't escape at all. And you can get absolutely everywhere you need to. Beautiful. We love to see it. What I was trying to do was actually go and see the hippopotamus, Aswood, because we will have to 
put Aswood in the Trade Center. Now I did see something that people were saying tickets were underpriced, so I better go bump that up to, we'll go 38. I'm gonna leave the child at 24, I don't care about that. Let's send Aswood, shall we? Aswood, Aswood, Aswood. There, I'm literally right at the top, of course. And we're all about cheap cash mails here, so one single dollar redo for Aswood. Okay, I see a lot of mating in the capybara front again, and I need to check in on that. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, they're all going on contraception. Wait, why did that say no? I clicked on that and then it went out, which is just asking for absolute disaster. I think I might need to reduce it to, like, literally two capybaras again. How are my Indian peafowl going? Have they all aged up? I'm wondering if they nearly have. Don't understand why this one is hungry thirsty. Because it should be able to traverse everywhere that it needs to. People still think tickets are underpriced? <gasps> my jaguars are- oh my god. Literally, there's so many notifications going on all at once. Okay, I've got to remember who the actual parents are. We've got Yolia one and Patli. These little cuties are about to age up. Let's watch this little cutie actually grow into a full grown baby. <gasps> oh, the sweetie. Okay, let's transfer these bad boys out then, shall we? We should have, for some reason I thought we had four, but that's fine. Um, Let's send you all to the trade center because the other animals, <gasps> the giant otter is about to die. Oh, rip. Oh, she's not dead yet. Uh oh, it's gonna be graphic. Oh, no, um, they're just gonna take her away. Okay, now well, let's go back to the trade center and put these bad boys up for trade. Aswood got snabbled up fast. Good, that's what we want, please. And thank you, take my animals from me. I have too many. I'm, I'm visiting my own zoo. I mean, that makes sense. I'm gonna pop my own balloon. Too bad, so sad. I'm an ostrich is about to have offspring, fine and dandy cotton candy. Check on the Eurasian lynx. I reckon they'll be undercover in here. So we've got the two little bambinos and what they're at about three years of age, I reckon they age up. Okay, I really do just want to wait for this rain to stop so I can actually build this transport ride. But let's have a little look-see. No, we're not going to have a little look-see because it's literally that hard to see in this game when it is bucketing down like this. Hippopotamus is about to mature as well. They are at the bottom of the pond though. Okay, let's pause. It is now nice-ish weather and I know if I press play it'll go to snow or something ridiculous. So we've got to think about what kind of transport ride I want. Facilities, transport rides, what have we got? I don't think we want a safari car. I think if anything, it'll be like the monorail or the gondola. I think that's the two best options that we've got. I'm kind of leaning more towards the gondola. I think just because there's not a lot of elevation that the gondola is the right way to go. So there is an entry here. If anything, maybe the gondola ride should start about here. Is that? Oh, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. It's saying which way it goes. So if we put it maybe like over here. See, I'm not sure here, like this will be fine, but it's one of those, I feel like I need to potentially leave space to be able to change it because at the moment, even I just loop around here, there's still gonna be further habitats out more that will need it in the future. But that is for future EV to worry about. Okay, I think I want another station okay so i can just do it straight up like that that makes it easy except i think i want to bring it a little bit more this way okay i forgot that you actually need to connect it back up which means i'm gonna have to squeeze it through here somewhere hmm <laughs> i will just like tweak the trees and everything after the fact i will just put it where i think it needs to go first I don't really want them to just like be going through any of the habitats. Like I don't want it to just be like poles in the middle of habitat. So I think I need to kind of go along the outskirts. See, that's not what I wanted to happen. I didn't want to have that, but I mean, it's not terrible. No, it is pretty terrible. I take it back. Do some of these without track supports by the looks of it. I do need to add some more gondolas in though, because one cutting laps around the entire thing probably isn't gonna cut it. So far, so good. What is it, three stations? I can then always expand it with some more stations. Or I could even have two separate um, transport rides in the future if I need to. 
Why have protesters arrived? I don't want to click on them because I don't actually, I don't actually want to know right now. Maybe the hippopotamus? Maybe it's the fighting status of that. Okay, some chaos has obviously happened while we were testing that. Let's get, that is definitely the one that we want. Let's put you in the trade center. Let's see what the protesters are fighting. Why, where is, is it because it's trapped in there? I think it's probably because it's trapped in there. Okay, let's go back to here and edit track. And I'll see if I can. Yes, that's what we want. Okay, I mean, I feel like that's probably not very safe and sound, but it's fine. No problem. Okay, let's connect some of these bad boys up. Okay, I have finally figured it out. It was not as hard as I was making it to be, but we got it. Okay, um, I will definitely be tweaking it and redoing the entire station area. Um, just trying to finalize the paths and everything. I just wanted to get it up and running. I'm just going to go around quickly and name all of the stations so I have a rough idea of what station is what. Okay, now if we technically press play, of course it's going to rain again. Like, why wouldn't it? Why would it do anything else other than rain? Hippopotamus is about to mate? Stop it. Let's see if anyone heads towards it. I'll be surprised if they do, but actually I need to add these to the work zone, I'm guessing. The formus and black bear is about to mature. The only reason these people would be going up this way would be to use this ride, right? Yes, no, maybe, yes. Okay, great. Trying to see where the other gondola is. It can't be too far away. It's over here. Oh my God, there's people already in it. Stop it. I think I did six, which should be plenty. And there's people in this one too. Who are you? This gondola is coming over here. I just want to see these people get on it and then we will go do some more management. Formus and Black Bear, I do need to get onto that as well. I did see a notification that the hippopotamus was mating, so we might have some little baby hippopotamuses coming soon as well. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, they're all getting off, and then these ones get on. I don't know if they can stay longer, like they don't have to get off at each, each station, I don't think. Okay, and now they can get on. Great! I love that. I can't imagine it'll be profitable. I can increase the ticket prices if I need to. Okay, we've got some more hippopotamuses coming in July. Okay, that is soon. <gasps> I'm so excited. The Formus and Black Bear, we do need to. Do need to. Where are you? Are they all in trees right now? I can't see them. <laughs> okay, there's one. That is the mama. That's not who we want. Okay, let's send you to the trade center as well. I think there is a couple of animals I do need to put up as well. Who was that? That was the other hippopotamus. Let's put that up for trade. And I thought I put the Formus and Black Bear in there. Is there a new one? Yes, there is. Okay, is it wrong? I think I want to, yeah, I, why can't I send that one out? Don't understand that, why I can't always trade them out of the zoo, but fine. Now that it's stopped, I did just see a black wildebeest is about to die, or did die. Okay, I don't think it was our alpha, that's our alpha male. You can go to the trade center. Maybe I'll need to get some more blue wildebeest in here. Oh my god, there's little baby ostrich. Okay, so all of the females have died as to be expected. And I bet you I just traded all of the blue wildebeests, female blue wildebeests out of here, I did. Love that for me. Let's get some more blue wildebeests. Um, blue wildebeest. I reckon just two. And we'll get you. And let's go trade center. And you. And we'll send them to the zoo. We will put them in quarantine. And that should also mean that we can get the alpine ibex that I've had in here for a while. But say so they should both be ready. Move into the alpine ibex. I also did just recolor the gondola ride to be browns and greys instead of blue because blue is an atrocious in your face color. Okay, the lynx has matured, which means we'll have to send them to the trade center. Where's the other one? And you can go to the trade center too. Gavril. I'm gonna keep calling it Gravel, so I'm gonna just change its name to Gravel. I can't, my brain can't comprehend Gavril. It has to be Gravel. <laughs> one of the protesters. Okay, no, they're fine. They said, actually, no, it's fine. See, my problem here is I love Anastasia. I love the name. When it was born, I was very excited, but her stats aren't as good as Alicia. So I think I'm gonna have to let her go. I hope she goes to a great home and Constantine as well. And I still can't transfer that one out. Not sure on that one. Not sure. Giant Otter is expecting offspring. Okay, I went the wrong way. Oh, just look at the colors. It's so much nicer when it's not raining. Where is my Jaguar? 
Okay, not expecting offspring, but I can imagine that they will probably mate again soon. I reckon the blue wildebeest should nearly be ready to go. Okay, I'm gonna call the vet to that one because nobody has come and her dead body is just laying on the ground. Oh my god, stop it. They are so freaking cute. I forgot how adorable the little babies were. Okay, how are my staff going? Um, I was on the right tab anyway. Their workload, except for the educator. Okay, maybe I can grab another educator because that would make sense. Some of the vendors have a pretty high workload. Um, I'm gonna make sure they're just in the everything workload. Okay, yeah, let's get another educator. And let's actually put a couple more educator spots around. Let's hire another... I'm gonna go three educators. I know that seems excessive, but I know that we've got an educator talk at the Otters. Okay, so where else would be a good one? I wonder if I can put one at the Koala. I can throw food into them as well. Let's do one for... what is it? July. Let's go September. And I will have to add this into the work zone, I reckon. Hippopotamus is about to have offspring. I'm coming! Stop! Wait! Wait for me! Oh, she's asleep. Of course she is. <laughs> Again, no, no rush whatsoever. I'm pretty sure they can only have one baby. But I'd love a little girl. Formus and Blackberry is expecting offspring. Stop it. They have been pumping out babies for us. Pooping? Not pooping, baby. <gasps> there it is. <laughs> it's hiding. I'm like, I swear. <gasps> a gold standard girl. A gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Okay, that is an adorable little bambino. And I know they all look the same. <gasps> yes. Yes. Babies? No bambinos, but that's fine. Actually, have we got vet researching anyone in particular? The koala's pretty much done. Everything else has been researched. Great. The mechanic research, I think, should be done too. <gasps> Good. We have unlocked all of the themes. There is nothing, nothing else to do now. So all of my mechanics should be fine to do what they need to do. Let's go to the koala and watch the talk for that. I don't think I want to have any seatings. It'll just... Seating? It'll just be a standard. I wanted to throw food in. <gasps> She's gonna do it! Yes. Throw it. Get it. I've never seen them throw food in with that animal talk before. I love it. So now the little koalas are going to come out. <gasps> Stop. That's so cute. I'm wondering what other animal we could, could do that talk for. Maybe the Plumas and Black Bear, actually. I don't think we've really got any over this side. Which side do I want it on? Maybe this side. Okay. Maybe not this side. Yeah, that's not going to work there. Okay. Yeah. Well, it looks like it's... Wait, I've already got one over here. <laughs> When did I put that there? Well, there you go. The more you know. I had no idea that I had one there already. Well, that that's fine. <laughs> no problem. Have I got it in the work zone? I must have it in the work zone, I reckon. Yep, that's all set up. That's all good to go. Do I want one in the Indian peafowl? I don't know if I do. Okay, so if we've got one there, one there. I could do a talk for the Alpine Ibex. I think we've got one in Feb. Maybe we'll do like May and we'll add that to the work zone. I think I may as well do one for the capybaras down here. And we'll make this one go in March. Maybe we'll go like a October? November. Let's do November. And maybe we'll do a zoo tour. I, again, have not played with that like setting before, which we can set up a tour point. So don't mind me. Just wait a second. Pause. Do not frickety frack. Alpha female. Now with the alpha male, I'm guessing siblings. Is that who it was? Pie Dad and Angel? Now they're both really nice, really nice ones, but I think I'm gonna send Pie Dad to Trade Center. Sorry, that was close. Okay, let's set up a zoo. A zoo. Let's just set up a zoo, why don't we? Let's set up a zoo tour. I think that'll be fun. Now I don't know if I need to start them at like, at a certain habitat first or not. But I'll just put them at like a couple of the ones around here. Actually, not there. I won't do all of them. I'll try and keep it going in a line. Okay, that is an absolute cluster of people there. Come back through this way, I reckon. Okay, so we'll select the tour start. Again, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing here, so we'll see if it works. I don't think there's any point putting the entire zoo on this one tour. They'll be here for years. <gasps> Hippopotamus is about to have offspring. I didn't realize they were both pregnant. Okay, we'll make the Alpine Ibex the tour end. Confirm. I'm guessing that works. I don't know when they do it. I'm guessing I need to add it to a work zone and then maybe it'll start. I select one. No, that is so annoying. Why? Giant otter is about to die of old age. No. I feel like there has to be an easier way than adding these in individually. Okay. Might work. Okay, it's operational. So we're just going to sit here for a minute and actually see what protesters have arrived. What for? Why are you not good? Hungry. 
Okay, I'll assign the keeper. I'll urgently request them so they can get some food. Okay, they're coming with it now, I'm pretty sure. That's fine. Actually, the zoo food. The animal food. The zoo food. Let's see what we've got. Food. I'm gonna give them all top quality food, so there's no, no problems with that. See, these are just little things that I forget during the other, like, when I'm playing and filming for you guys. I've only got six keepers. I feel like I could probably do with some more. I do only have six keepers. I might buy another couple of keepers. Okay, I've bought another three keepers. That should be fine. I will add them all to the everything work zone and should be fine. Capybaras, there's 30 capybaras. Bro, what the hell? I'm gonna have to pause, okay? Now I can't be bothered putting these all up on the trade center. So I'm gonna save one, two, three, four, that's it. And I'm gonna release them to the wild because I actually cannot physically deal with this many. And Planet Zoo just crashed while I was selling them all. Okay, we're back. Okay, so it did take me back a little bit. That's fine. I will go through and I'll add all the animals back into this. Okay, too easy. Now I think there was the birth of a, another little Bambini. I think that must be. <gasps> no, Khalid, a little boy, gold standard two. I love that. Where is this little cutie patootie? That's the boy. No, I don't want the tree, I want the bear. I could have swore that she was pregnant. That must have been before the crash and now she is no longer pregnant, which is disappointing. Okay, I don't want them doing this here. So let's just get a, like a concrete wall. So you did these work. Doll is about to die of old age. No. Okay, let's see if that fixes that at all or if they are just little soupy poopies. It's not quite what I want for it, but I can tweak that off screen for sure. Okay, we have a educator ready to go. Okay, these people look like they are ready to do the tour. I don't know if there's a limit, like what she has to hit before she'll take them, but it's starting to get a bit of a crowd of people waiting to go. There we go. Place that. Let's just quickly save because I'm fearful that it's going to crash. Okay, I definitely need to work on this. This bit is atrocious. I can probably widen the path. I am going to move these. They are causing more problems than good, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to put them over here. Actually, maybe I'll put them over here and try and clear up a little bit of space. Lynx is expecting offspring. The Hormus and Black Bear is about to mate. Maybe we will, we will, well, I can't talk. Maybe we will get another little baby Black Bear too. I don't even know who is part of her tour anymore. Giant Otter is about to mate and that is not saying that it is inbreeding. So that's a good start. Okay, so that bumped up their education to 100% just by doing that one stop on the zoo tour, which is great. I love that. I'm starting to think I need to make this a one way, one way situation. I mean, I hate that for myself. I don't like that idea but this is so ridiculously congested. I think I'm left with no choice. Okay, I'm just hoping everyone has followed her enough that when I go like this. Let's see how much of a difference this would make. I know it seems silly. Lynx is about to have offspring, stop it. If this really does stop the congestion, I'd love that. Let's go check out the Eurasian Lynx. Give us babies, give us babies. One bambino, two bambinos, birdie, oh my god. Birdie is too cute and let me up. Oh, hell yeah. Look at the little sweeties. On that note though, I think I am gonna leave this episode here. I will be coming back next week to put in the L animal into the zoo, which is between the La Gibbon, the little penguin and the llama. So if you do have one of those that you would like to see in the zoo, please let me know down in the comment section below. I feel like I actually got so much achieved just in this little bit of time from adding in some zoo talks, fixing the food, Getting that ride up and running, I don't think it's profitable, but it is what it is. I'm not too concerned. But thank you guys so much once again, and I'll see you next time. Bye!